coming back with another video um yeah please excuse my scar I'm gonna talk about that in a minute um uh, I received the the best of hair I know I've been posting a lot of videos about it um but that's just because it's the hair that I was wearing and I wanted to try it out um when a company speaks so highly about their product you know and you're sending it to people to try it um basically it's what they was doing because it was so easy to win it so basically you know they wanted to get that product out so people can try it um but i do not work for Ultra, okay you guys i don't work for them i'm not affiliated in any way with them i'm just like you guys out there that entered the photo contest and won the hair um so for the ladies um you know that asked me you know a whole bunch of questions um dealing with the company I don't know the only thing I can give you my answers on is what's in my hair um I don't you know I don't have any other any other answers um you know I had quite a few people ask me um how long does it take for them to send you an email after you hit your votes um how long does it take for them to ship it out and how long does the shipping take and all that I can only go by my experience um I believe I hit my 40 votes. It was on a Wednesday. Um, the next day, which was on a Thursday, I received an email saying that they needed me to verify my address. So I did that on a Thursday, replied back to them, and by the following Tuesday, I had my hair. Um, I don't know if it works that quickly, you know, with different groups. I know more and more people are knowing about it now. So they have a lot more people to try to, you know, get information from. Um, so that may hold the process up a little bit more. Um, another question that I've been getting is, do you get to choose your length and colors? No, ma'am. Um, you get 12 inch for both packs. And also, um, it, they're either going to send you a 1 or a 1B. You don't get the chance to, ch you don't get the option to choose. Um, when I received mine, I got a 1, which was what I wanted. Um, and my sister got a 1B, which is what she needed. Um, so they send out either or. Yeah, that's pretty much the questions that I've been getting that I can answer. Um, anything else dealing with Ultra, I do not know. You will have to contact the company. Like I said, if it's in my hair, I can answer it for you. Um, as far as tangling, shedding, um, what products to use in it, all of that. Anything else, I don't know. So I'm sorry, ladies, if I can't answer your questions um, other than that. And speaking of the Ultra, um... The Duvesta hair. I have installed it again. This is my third time. I didn't post um, my second install mainly because it was an um, invisible middle part. Um, I pretty much installed it the same way I did in my install video from the first one. From the first Ultra Duvesta um, install. So I didn't feel I needed to record that one all over again. Ew. Um, sorry, I didn't feel I needed to record that all over again because it was pretty much the same thing. Um, a lot of women asked with my other videos, um, did I put any products in it to hold it? No, I answered that in my final review. I did it, um, when I did the curls, I didn't have any product in it, but like I said, it did not last long. Um, this hair, it doesn't, it doesn't do well with curling. Um, I seen one one lady comment on my videos and said that the Remington curling wand worked fine on it. I don't know. I've never used that. Um, but everyone else that I see do a review on it or people that I know that have the hair, it doesn't hold a curl. Whether you curl it with a flat iron, a barrel curler, a curl wand, flexi rise, it just doesn't hold. So, whatever. Um, so, I tend to keep mine straight. Parts. Um, people were asking me. How did I get um, my part to look so natural? As I explained, I think it was my first week review. Um, when I did my uh, part, I had it like all the way on my hairline. Um, and then that just kind of gave it like a fake, like wiggy look. And it also looked like synthetic as heck <laughs> um, when I did it all the way to the hairline. So what I did was just remove like two tracks, two tracks, two or three tracks. Um, so that way I can see more of my edges, um, and then, you know, it just gave it more of 
a real look to it. Also, when you do your part, ladies, um, take your time on that. Because, you know, that's going to be very obvious. People are going to see that. Um, and, you know, women be all in your hair anyway. <laughs> you know, trying to figure out what you got going on in your head. So make sure you take your time on that. Like, you can throw the rest of it together, whatever. You know, don't have to be even. Just slap it on there. But make sure you take your time on the part. Oh, edges. Um, some ladies want to know what I use on my edges. Um... And what I use is this olive oil, organic root stimulator, edge control, superior hole. I love this stuff. Love. Um, it's kind of like a paste, like a, a jelly paste. You guys can see that. Um, it's not really soft. It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a, a gel, like a thick gel paste. Um, you don't need a lot on it at all um on your edges and um yeah don't put a lot on it because after a while it just starts to get real like gummy um you know how some some pomades or edge controls don't really hold it it just makes it feel all greasy and nasty this doesn't do this at first but if you keep put if you keep putting too much and keep reapplying it and then after a while, it would do it. But enough of that rambling. I'm going to show you guys um, right now a clip. Um, since I didn't upload a video of my second install, which was my middle part. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. Um, yeah. This one piece right up front. And then this piece too. Which I, I really don't want to show this one too much. I mean, you know, I can do it like that. To have, you know, two streaks. But I kind of like to show it more here. Yeah, like more there. And then this one more here. So that's basically how I was wearing it. Um, but it's just getting so hot. So I put it up. So now I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to reuse it again. Probably won't use this part piece. I'll probably just trash this piece. Yeah, as you can see. You see that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why she coming out tonight. So that was basically it. I mean, I didn't really, you know, go into too much detail about it. You know, it's just the middle part. So basically, I had it on the side. I moved it over. All right. But I'm not, I me mean, personally, I'm just not a, a big fan of the middle part. So I didn't even, you know, want to come up here and all that stuff. So <laughs> I'm going to show you guys my third install. Um, I did this yesterday and I just wrapped it up. And that's another thing. When you guys um, first install your Duvessa, it's just going to be like next to impossible to wrap it. But after a while, um, it starts to get, you know, less silky. So it'll be a lot easier for you guys to wrap it. As you guys can see, like it's still silky, but it holds a lot better than when you first get it. Alright you guys, so this is basically it. Um, it's another invisible part on the side. As you guys can see. So like I said y'all, this hair is freaking beautiful. And like, this is Beauty Supply Hair Store. And Beauty Supply Store Hair. Sorry. <laughs> beauty Supply Store Hair. And this is already my third install. Um, as far as the tangling, it's still the same as I mentioned before. I get like, you know, like, not even tangles. What do you call it? Like, you know how sometimes you just got to wiggle your fingers through it to get through it? You know, I mean, it's not doing it now, but you know how sometimes you just got to do like one of them. It's no like, you know, bad tangling or anything. Um, 
it has started shedding more, um, a lot more. But y'all know I'm not big on shedding. My thing is tangling. I can't stand tangling. Yeah, I'm loving it. My third install, psh, I mean, it's it's really nice. Um, I'm still, you know, getting my bounce. Um, all of that, it smells so good. I washed it with um my favorite, favorite, favorite shampoo and conditioner set, which is, sorry, <laughs> the um Organics. Um, Moroccan Argan Oil Conditioner, the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I wash it with this. Um, I take it out, take, when I wash it, I don't wash it while it's on my head. I wash it while I'm in between my installs. Um, so I take it out and then I bundle it back up, back up, you know, like how you would purchase it. I bundle it back up like that and then I wash it. Um, and I let the conditioner sit on it. Probably for about, I mean, my plan is to do it for like 30 minutes, but sometimes it doesn't work out like that. I end up forgetting about it or go to do something else. Um, and then I just wash it out and I install it. I curled it with my big barrel curlers. Um, the heat protection that I use on it was this Proclaim Gloss and Polisher. I got this from Sally's. Um... I don't know when, but I got it from Sally's. It's also a heat protectant. You guys um, usually see this with the black top and a clear bottle. Um, a lot of people use it on their Andean hair because it doesn't weigh your head, hair down and make it greasy. Um, so I used this and my curl and iron and just put big curls in it and then wrapped it up. Yeah, so that's all I use on it. I don't use any other products on it at all. Um, I added some blonde. Um, to the front of it um, and what I used was the um, sensational premium now um, in an 8 inch which is this hair this here um, and it's 27 and 30 you guys can see on um, the 27 and the 30 in there um, this piece right here this more of an orangey color is the 30 and then this piece right here more of the blonde color is the 27 um, and my other install with the center part, I used 27, but I had to go get some more hair because this hair is a hot mess. I don't even know what this crap is. Like, it's, it looked like wool. That's what I get for being cheap. <laughs> because at my beauty supply store, they have like a big tub of just tracks of hair. Maybe about, I give it about this long right here. And it's all different colors. Like, if you want to do highlights, it's all different colors. And it's like a dollar, a, a strip like this. So, I was, my intentions was to go in and get like five pieces of 27 for like five dollars. But then, um, I saw like this pack of hair, which was the whole pack. I saw this pack of hair and it was $7.99. So, at my beauty supply store, if you need a half a pack of hair, they'll cut it for you and sell you half. So, that's four dollars for a half a pack. So, I was like, I'll just get that. I noticed the hair wasn't all that straight when I when I got it, but I was like, I'll just take them home and flat iron it. This is a hot mess. It's called the company was called Bio. B-I-O. Um, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't even remember if it was a hundred percent human hair or a hundred percent human hair quality. It's a difference between that, you guys. It's a difference between a hundred percent human hair quality and human hair. Um, human hair quality is like basically like a blend, either a blend of human hair and synthetic, or it's like, uh, like kind of like a Futura, um, Futura, uh, synthetic where you can add heat to it. So I'm not even sure, but it's basically trash, like I wasted it. So I went and I got this hair instead. Um, so that's basically what I added in the front. Um, I added, when I did my horseshoe. I added some tracks right here in my horseshoes, and then I also added a few in my invisible part. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm working with now. So I'm loving it. And I mean, this hair is still so freaking good that I can probably go for a fourth install. Um, I will be getting some new hair soon. So I don't know how soon. So if I don't get it by time this comes out, which should be two weeks, 
then I'll install it again. I wanted to cut it, but I don't know. I just like it like this. It's so cute. So I probably won't cut it yet. Um, I hope I didn't bore y'all because I know I can talk a lot. I'm so sorry. But that's pretty much it, you guys. So you guys, if you have any questions, just hit me up and you know I'll respond back. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Take care.